from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I attended American University. Right now, I am in China, in Changzhou, China. I went earlier, I went to study with, uh, or through American University at Beijing University, uh, Peking University. It's cool to be back uh, in, in a place where it's like so crowded that there's never a street that's empty. You can go down like even alleyways and sideways and there's always people there. There's always fireworks going off somewhere where there's just very intense like sense of community. There are all, all sorts of people just like in plazas, um, in little dance troops. And there's just so much sort of life. There's just a lot of community and a lot of life. It's just really exciting every time you go out. Like every time you go out anywhere, there's always something really interesting. Um, precisely because it's different. I feel really happy with the school. I feel really happy with where, um, with what I'm doing. With, I feel even pretty happy with my teaching, even though I don't really think like it's quite up to the standard that I want it to be yet. There are definitely times after uh, getting back from classes uh, and after getting back from teaching where I'll say like, oh, I am I am just faking it. Like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is insane. You know, they, they were those really mo those moments come and then they go and it's fine. Uh, it's just a part of it, I think. Counter to those moments a lot of times is just uh, these feelings of when you really, you really do well. You lead a class perfectly, you have the perfect energy, you're just very happy to be there, they're very happy that you're there, that feels awesome. So the teaching assistants that we get are also teachers of the classes that, that we're in, so they're really good, they're really involved, they know all the kids, um, and they like kind of know the troublemakers and stuff, and so they actually do a lot of the classroom management for us, which is really nice. A lot of them can speak English really well and they really try to engage with us and teach, um, they try to teach me Chinese a lot of times. It's mostly good though, it really is. It's really mostly super cool. Uh, people here are really nice. Um, people here are really interested in you too, which is like neat, you know. I, I, I like that because I, I think I'm kind of selfish in that way. I feel rapidly part of a community, which is great. The students too are really nice. I think it just depends. They're all 10 year olds. My kids are all third graders, so. I think most like me and most are really eager for my classes. Um, most think it, uh, see it sort of as like just jumping around and talking in English time, which in a lot of ways it is. They do learn new vocab and stuff like that, and they are practicing their English. But for them, I think it's mostly just functionally a lot of fun. I have a lot of kids that will run up and really try and like befriend me and talk to me and ask me about America and stuff like that. And I do my best to respond, but sometimes it's hard. So I speak Chinese a lot out of the class to them, and I've met a few, and they're, they're all really nice. Um, well, I'm actually going to stop here and do another video. Oh, wow. Okay, Qingzuo. All right, very good. Let's see. <laughs> uh,